Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Welcome to my group Miller, the second week. So it's hashtag 2023 CWP2. The items that you need for this week are your least favorite color. Mine's going to be green. A sewing notion, which is basically any items that you use to finish your sewing project. So buttons, cotton, needles, pins, scissors, all the, all the accessories basically is what I looked it up, <laughs> what a notion is. <laughs> Something out of the recycle bin. Well, I just um, put all my boxes in the bin, so I went back and picked out some pieces from boxes that I'd thrown out. And a foreign language, I've got a few pieces over there. Tea bag cover, yep, got that. And bonus is fiber yarn or string. So I've got a few options for that too. Okay, so the overall thing's going to be in green, which is my least favorite color. So, but I've chosen a green that's quite nice. Guys, <laughs> I don't like dark green, <laughs> it was my school color. So I don't, um, I just don't like dark green. You know, this is the book that I've um, converted into my Marguerite Miller. I had tried to make sure it wasn't lumpy, and then I've gone and made it lumpy straight away. So, hmm. So this was last week's 2023 hashtag CWP1. And I just added this to the front page, which is now what's made it bulky, to put the uh, pieces in. So I just, uh, I found this envelope, which was uh, some digital printouts from Shabby Dabby Doodah and some flowers I just got recently and I just did it this way I didn't want to yeah anyway I just did it this way and then I had to put this on the side because they'd just fall out <laughs> so I, I taped this in to hold them in there and, and I put them like this so they're just going to stay in here I'm not going to do tucks for the most part I'm not going to do tucks like, like I did this one so I'm just going to when I've done it I'm going to put it to the back so it'll just go it'll, they'll all just live in there I'm not going to try and attach them to the page. It's going to annoy me. <laughs> Could stay in there. That way, that way, that way. A little flower to tuck it. Get back in there. There we go. Now, my idea was that I could fold this over and it would be easier to work on. But now I've got a lump. <laughs> so we'll see how we go with that. Oh, and at the back, I did the same thing. So this is the back. Um, I added that page onto there so it just kind of matches. There's too many pages so I'll be taking some of these out uh, when I don't need them. Um, I can just take them out when I finish and I just did a simpler pocket at the back and just tucked those in um, with a little collage. So the book's all ready to go now. All right, let's get started. This is my focal image. Uh, Daffy Down Dilly, I've actually not heard of it, but anyway. Uh, has come up to town in a yellow petticoat and a green gown so I thought that was actually quite apt and I just found some green paper I keep tearing it down and then I end up it doesn't the last piece I tore down I tore it down too much didn't cover the lines I want to cover all the writing so let's ink that up and glue that down so far everything's been kind of vintage orientated I don't know whether every page will be but we'll see get a little darker slightly darker edge and it's the top edges are torn so that they have a more vintage old paper look so it doesn't matter if they rip I should mention that Marguerite's uh, shop is, of course, now open again. So if you want to have your own copy of these assignments, then please head up to Etsy.com. Mellow Miller is the shop. There's a link in the description box below. Now, I don't know if I'm keeping it that size. It takes up all the room. So let's tear it down a bit. I might just use the ruler so that I get a better, I don't lose images that I want to keep because I want to keep I'd like to keep the words seeing as it talks about a yellow gown and a green a green gown I think I'd like to keep that writing but I just need more space um, well I don't think I need all of those trees so maybe just up to that house there because I need it and some of the sky 
which I made all of that sky. Okay, so that's a little bit better size, I think. Sewing Notion. Okay, so I've got quite a few bits and bobs. I've got these, I might use some of that. I haven't used, I've had this so long and I just never seem to use them. And they came from your creative studio. And I thought they were so cute at the time, but I don't know. I've just never got around to using them. I quite like that one. Hmm, who knows? Oh, I know, I've got all the green ones out. <laughs> Too many to choose from. <laughs> okay, so we've got rulers, tape measures. I'd like one that actually is a tape measure as opposed to a ruler. And I'd like it in inches. That one's to scale, that one's not. <laughs> I don't suppose it matters. that one I'll just leave those there that's the possibility so we've got a sewing notion I've also got uh, there's all my little bits and bobs I've got a sewing pattern but I'm not sure if I'm going to use that I've got some buttons and a green button and I've got these scissors and a green zip I don't know zips were invented then so I'm going to say no to the zip <laughs> it's got to be you know periodically correct. I think I like that that green button. Something out of recycling bin. Probably won't be able to decide which piece to use till we get further along. Picked out a few pieces from the boxes. So I've got this bit of green so I could cut around that and it's, it also says made with love. Because so I'm thinking that if we're going to be suggesting that she's made her dress, so I might do a, a cluster of her dress pieces and I could put Made With Love on it. So let's just cut this down a little bit. Um, yeah, I started to cut this off and then I realized that I might like it, um, the words. So I've got that, I'll put that down there for now. And this, I don't know if, oh, well, I'll keep the purple in for now and just trim it down. I quite know what I'm going to do with it or whether I'm going to use it or not. It looks a bit modern. So I'll just put that to the side. I've also got some dark green but I don't like that now. And I've got some of this floral. Which is quite pretty. I sort of use it like that. Just as a bit of a decorative element. Or it could go maybe on the bottom. We'll see. Um, okay, so that's something out of the recycle bin. Foreign language. Uh, I've got a few choices. I have this piece. It doesn't really... I don't think it goes with the scene. Colour-wise, now it does. don't know what it says. I've got these pieces. came from AliExpress. Again, I've had them a while and I've never used them. I picked out some green. And I've got that piece that came out of the recycle bin and was a double language from my Thrifty Thursday, which actually you might not have seen yet. Depends on when this goes out. Oh, that's right. I've got some textured paper from the uh, from this. I might go get that out. That might be nice. So I don't know about that. I said I've got this. So I think I prefer this one. It goes with the vintage stuff better. So this is the texture paper. This is quite nice. Just for a little bit of relief. I'll just pop it there now. I won't leave it obviously in a big piece but just put it there now to remind me that there's some textured paper to use. Foreign language will probably use this. Just pop some of that into there as well. Figure out how we're going to do it. Tea bag cover. I've got this one. It's very bright. Might be a bit too bright. I have to cut it. Now, I never quite know whether they mean 
this part of the tea bag cover or this part. I expect that it's either. So it's a little pocket at the moment. So I'm just going to leave that there for now. Oh dear, not getting anywhere. Um, tea bag cover, bonus fibre and yarn. So fibre, I assume, means um, does fibre mean material? Or does it mean string? Maybe it means string. But anyway, I'm going to use some uh, pieces of fabric and make a little cluster with the colours of her dress, as if this is fabric from her dress. Possibly not the patterned one. We'll see. And then she's carrying this bunch of flowers and I found this while I was looking and I thought, oh, that looks just like her flowers. So I'm going to add that to the cluster. So fibre and yarn I've got, or string, so embroidery floss, does that work? I'm sure it does. So we've got some green string-ish. And I've got some more, I found that these came in the um, op shop Thrifty Thursday as well. I think there's a green flower bread. There's also a button. Ooh, makes a cute little opening, doesn't it? Funny how we love our packaging, isn't it? Well, they've got to such trouble to make it. We should try to use it. <laughs> I'll cut that off. I don't know if I'll use it today. Let's we'll see. Makes a nice little frame, doesn't it? Hmm. So I have that. I don't quite know what I'm doing with it, but I have it. <laughs> I don't know if I'll use it or not, but I've got that little window. Um, but anyway, so what I was looking for was a brad. It's so cute. This might come out, I don't know if this will come out before or after Thrifty Thursday. Depends on when I get it edited. Thrifty Thursday is coming out on Thursday though, so I just don't know whether this is coming out today or tomorrow or another day. <laughs> anyway, I've got a little cute brad which matches those fabrics, so I'm quite happy with that. I've got some ribbon, green ribbon, which matches her dress. Um, and I've got some thinner one, which also kind of matches but I also found when I was looking in my paper scraps place I found this yellow bow but yeah mm, it's not a yellow bow I can't do that and some more green stuff and I've also got these so I'm not sure if I like that green textured paper after all that it's not like the right green it's a bit too turquoise no I did think about having some Greenery and oh, there's this one. This is nice. Really pale green, and then there's a green heart. Got enough all those. You might just leave the green in the background as it is. It's got this kind of tree thing happening. Uh, I'm not so sure that I want all this pink and purple, so I might leave that for another day. Let's just tear off the edges. Pick this up. Don't know what it says, so I'm going to hide some of it. Hmm. What to do with this? I'll take the back off for a start. I don't want it as a pocket. I don't want the sealed edges. Um, I might put something in the middle of that. So also, you're just going to see all my Thrifty Thursday stuff, so I think we might find a little bird that doesn't look too Australian. Even though I know they're Australian birds. <laughs> I just want a little, little bird to sit in the middle of that. I like that. That's cute. This one, I think. So let's just cut these out. Let's see if I can tear it out. Just wanted to hide the words for the most part. I can put something else on there as well. Or this one. It doesn't quite fit on. So this one, maybe with some of this writing. Let's just tear this down a bit. Oh, 
I shouldn't know that. Okay, let's do that. <laughs> um, so many times I end up tearing things too small. But anyway, there's loads more pages, so that doesn't matter. Let's glue that on. Don't know what I'm going to do with it, but let's just do it. <laughs> we might have it up here in the branches. I'd like if it was facing the other way, but not to worry. I have to tear it all. It's very bright. <laughs> I might have to dull that down a bit, I think. Take the, we'll take the uh, ink better, I think. Uh, still a bit bright. <laughs> Let's uh, smudge him up a bit. That's better. There's a lot less of it now. Well, I'm not. Um, yeah. Well, I will. I will glue that on so it's done. Because that's okay now. But I won't place it just yet, just in case um, it goes somewhere else. But I think it'll go there. Or it could go there. Or maybe it'll go there. So we'll just leave that for now. We haven't got a sewing notion yet. I kind of wish these scissors weren't so open. I'm going to see if I can change the angle. I don't know if I can. I'd rather they were just a pair of scissors instead of an open pair of scissors. Let's put that in between. Just glue that on there with some uh, glitter glue. Alright, so we've got a pair of scissors. Okay, alright, getting somewhere. We might have this um, pattern sneaking out the back. As if she's in this pattern for her dress. I'm just going to actually cut these edges off. I might, no, I might tear them with a ruler. Uh, something out of the recycle bin. Mm, it doesn't quite fit in there. What else was I using out of the recycle bin? I might still use a bit of this language paper up here. And then the rest of it might go down here. Okay, something like that. I can always get more of that paper if I want to. So we'll have our cluster. Well, it would have been better to have the cluster here, wouldn't it? I'm just going to put, this is not the cluster I'm using, I'm just going to pop that there just to sort of donate that that's where the cluster is going and see what else we need of fibre and yarn. <laughs> Tea bag cover we've got. My least favourite colour. Oh, I haven't got the recycle bin yet. It's made with love, but it's in purple. It doesn't match, does it? Got red and uh, we've got a set. Oh, we can put our put this down here that looks quite nice another sewing notion and quality measure 
Oh, okay, it's not looking too bad, but I probably just need something here. So, something out of the recycling bin. What matches that? Just pulling the stuff out of the bin. Got the green, got that bit of flower, but it's very pink. Mm -hmm. It's got more yellow on it. So I'm thinking if I cover that up, get rid of that, that pink there. Well, let's just say... I just lost my bread. Let's just say it's covered up. Let's go hunting now. Maybe I can use some of the green paper. And we'll make that as part of the part of the cluster. Um, so that could just go on there as decorative an element. Oh, that could come up here maybe. Maybe I like that better. It looks a bit like a spider. I'm going to actually cut that off. It's not a spider, it's a, you know, I don't know what I'm doing with those, but I'm just going to pop them in there for the moment. That's something out of the recycle bin. Just some pretty flowers. I'm wondering if I can cut off more of the purple. Not with those scissors. So I cut that piece out anyway, and so I'll we'll see if we can use this. I'll make it look a little bit older. It kind of looks like the sun. I don't mind that actually, just the green part. It goes with the face, so that's no good. I might cut this leaf off and use it elsewhere. I suppose we'll go down there. It's going to go up there. So, there's the leaf gone. Burned it. I might just have that other leaf going that way a bit more. I don't like the hat and the bird and the, that all up there. That does not work out for me at all. So I'm going to have to try and figure it out on this side. I didn't get any of the purple in. So I'm not sure. Let's ink this up and see if that helps. Get rid of some of the purple. Okay. So we've got a little dress made with love. Not looking too purple now, it's looking more vintage. So that's all right. And we've got our little scissors. We can anchor that there. And we've got our little, which can either go down that side, possibly. Don't mind that. And we've got a little button. It could go separately. It doesn't have to go on the cluster. All right, I think we're getting somewhere. Don't know if the heart's going to get used. Probably not. It's getting a bit cluttered. So we just need to make our cluster for this corner. I want something. I want it to be a reasonable size. I want to be able to see the fabrics. So I think the yellow works, and maybe this green. Those two look the closest, don't they? And because I might put some white dots on the dress just to make it match the fabric and we've got a lovely little bit of hanky. The hanky is all damaged so I'm quite happy to cut this up. Okay, a little bit more wrecked than I intended but it's survived, sort of. <laughs> don't know whether the brad will get used or not, it's going to depend on how it looks when we've done all that. So let's try it here. Just don't like it as an angle. Oh, that looks so sweet, doesn't it? Patches this dress. <laughs> I could make her a dress. <laughs> um, and then a bit of this green. Let's take one edge out first. It's going to be a fairly neat cluster because she is sewing a dress, so she did make a dress. I want to have a little bit more of the green showing. 
fits. Okay, so Okay, so I think I've, that's kind of like going to be it. Let's see if we can get this cluster um, together. I'm not going to glue them or staple them. I think I might, so I put some of the green thread in there. Got some of the ribbon. Um, it's too big to turn it into a bow, I think. I'd just like to have the thread there then connect it all up together. Maybe with the brad. Mm, probably going to need to stab it. Okay, so make a reasonably good sized hole so I can get my brad in there. Not sure if they had brads in those days, but it matches the uh, it matches the um, dress. So okay, so I don't think we need the button. Okay, all right. I'm going to uh, glue those down, and I'll be back with the finishing touches. So I'm actually going to um, split up this little bit of tape. Maybe. Okay. I'm going to put some on here. Some over here, I think. Oh, took a while to get off. <laughs> and down there. Maybe I'll take it underneath the. This here. Sort of. Combined, oh now I've got two together. Mm, nope, <laughs> I don't want that. Is it going to tear? Luckily, not. I might tear off that, so let's just cut a piece off there. Okay, at least that's in a different place, sort of. And mm. Maybe I'm going this way, peeking out under here. There we go. I like bits of washi tape that broke up that um, piece up there, and yeah. So the green has dots. I'm going to try to do a few little dots on the fabric. You'll hardly see them, but I know they're there. And now you know they're there. Okay. <laughs> you can see them. No, it's dry. They've dried into the, uh, dried into it. So, try something else. Try this. With a tiny, tiny brush. I'm at the top of the pin head. Perfect. <laughs> okay. Because it's only because it's round, yeah, it's only going to be the tiny bit that it touched. Uh, I think it's the uh, paper. It's a bit resistant. Yes, yeah, so I think that's done. Uh, my battery ran out while I was still working on the uh, washi tape, I think. So anyway, I think that's done. 20, hashtag 2023 CWP2. Your least favourite colour for me is green because I had to wear dark bottle green to school and so green has never been this good colour here the colour of the ribbon was my school uniform <laughs> you've probably heard that before uh, a sewing notion so we have the scissors and a brad um, and maybe a tape measure and the pattern would be considered sewing notions uh, anything to do with sewing that's not the actual fabric and something out of the recycle bin so we've got some packaging there and this made with love was on on a, a box of I think it was little apple pie, apple and blueberry pies. <laughs> and I think that yeah, and they were from it's from the same box, apple and blueberry pies. So happy with that. Uh, foreign language, we've got some German or Dutch going on in the background here. A tea bag cover. So that 
bit of green that's all that's left is the tea bag cover i really wasn't it was just too bright but i did it and then the bonus is fiber yarn or string so i've got some fibers here yeah just just some strings from the cotton happening there could maybe you could say that these are fibers as well these material i don't know but anyway um so that's all of the pieces so it was daffy down dilly has come up to town in a yellow petticoat and a green gown so i just added dots to her um, dress to match the green fabric but i'm actually just gonna now that i've managed to get the dots to be white i'm actually just going to dull them down a tiny bit just with a bit of ink the dots are there they're just not as bright okay just going to try adding a bit of color to the flowers you can probably hardly see it. i can i can just make it out but they're a little bit more yellow i'm just adding a bit of color to these vintage pictures just brightens them up a little bit without making them look too modern I'm just using watercolor pencils but I'm not going to add water I'm just going to leave them as they are oh that's a bit green just lightly should have done it before I did the dots because now I'm actually brushing the dots off Okay, I think that's enough playing around. I don't want to mess it up. I just want the flowers to be... Oh, like daffodils, actually. A bit brighter. A little bit of green. There we go. Let's stop playing with it before you mess it up, Julie. <laughs> but I do actually want a little bit of the the red on the flowers. I don't know why they're red. There we go. I think that's it. I probably can hardly see the difference. But I'm happy with it. So that's it for today. Thank you very much for watching. Please check out Marguerite's channel, website and Etsy shop uh, where you can download the prompts uh, like these ones here. And, uh, and then you'll have them for the rest of the year to do this, um, this collage. So please do join in with your channel or just doing it at home. You can, um, yeah, you can do it vintage style or any style you like. It doesn't have to be you know, vintage. It just happens to be what I'm drawn to at the moment. So yeah, I love the way I managed to get fabric that matched her dress. I think that's just, I think it's just so cute. So that one's being done. So we're going to go put that in the back there. We don't need to, I'm not going to keep it on the page because to be honest, no one really looks at the actual prompts once you've done them. It's just a case of making a collage that you're happy with. And, and the prompts, I mean, to be honest, I can't collage with I find it difficult to collage that prompts. I found the pro I find the prompts super helpful. Um, they give you a starting point. They give you ideas of what to include, and then you just take it from there. I mean, I would never have thought of putting scissors on here, but sewing notions and looks good. <laughs> okay, enough rambling. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.